what year did the Guggen squad form? There he is. Oh, oh, oh. it's a Megan. Oh. It's a Megan. It's a Megan. I mean, I'll wear it too. But what? It sounds like you're also putting I, it on. Dude, I thought this was clear. You were gonna. Wear I don't. It. I'm. I pro I will wear it, but it also sounds like you're gonna be wearing it too. We're gonna be swapping suits at some point throughout the day. I don't know. Oh. I decided. Loser of the competition has to basically dress up in a costume at the Bassmaster Classic. Guys, welcome back. We are actually heading to the Bassmaster Classic right now up in Tulsa, and we're gonna go crash it. It's gonna be wild. We're gonna be at the Mountain Dew booth doing crazy things. It's 6 a.m. right now, and we have a four hour drive to Tulsa. Basically just go mess around. I haven't been to the Classic in probably four years, and I think it was at Tulsa, Oklahoma. My, dude, four years is played, oh, yeah, like that's seven right. years, yeah. It was. Seven years ago. We the were last all time there many the moons ago. Speaking of full moons, yeah. it's a full moon right now. And we're gonna go fishing after yes. the Bass Special Classic. Hopefully stick some toads. So you guys stay tuned. Let's head to the Classic and see what's going on. Good normal, normal stuff, man. We, we just, you guys just looked at our house where we had Literally three million bags of baits. We had to take my truck, and then I forget the starfish suit on the kitchen counter. The, the best part is we were supposed to meet you. You had been sitting in there for what thirty minutes, yeah, and we were sitting, sitting here for thirty minutes, thinking that you were gonna come out, but you were thinking that we were gonna come in. Yeah. So just, we were just sitting in just this sitting. parking lot for over thirty minutes, thinking that we were waiting on each other. Meanwhile, we were. Ready to go. Literally just sitting there, just thinking like, <laughs> what a so day lonely. we got. Yeah, I was just sitting there at the table. With a big bag of food, just saying, get out. We are here at the Mountain Dew Outdoor booth, y'all. Actually, when you buy Mountain Dew, you collect points and you redeem those points. So you can actually get outdoor gear like this. Check it out. Up here we got a sea dude. So you can, uh, you know, do your dolphin flips out there and maybe do a little fishing off of that thing. I've been on a few of these things. They go really fast. Can you imagine being on a good white bass bite? It's like, oh, they're over there, Rob. We're schooling. Let's go. Yeah, I think you should crank it out like, just to see. I think it's operational. I don't know if it should. It's probably shouldn't. It probably shouldn't do that. On my way to the deer blind to do them, to do those deer. Hey, Wes. Getting there fast. Imagine allowed me and you to go and rip. No, John. To go rip this thing. Well, I don't even know if we're barely underway right now with the actual meetup, but people are already starting to come into the booth and say what's up. These are always fun. I enjoy them. They're exhausting at the end of the day, but it means a lot for some of you guys to come down and say what's up to us. I always ask people like where they're from. A lot of people are like, oh, we're from, you know, 10 minutes down the road. But there are people that drive hours and hours and hours to come say hey to us and then leave. It's absolutely incredible. It means a lot to us to see the people that watch our videos in person, say what's up, maybe get a hat, sign and a picture, and that is to them like a big deal. So, it, you know, it, it feels good to like, in a way, give back in the littlest form we can, and that is just to say, how's it going? I got a blue one. There you go, bud. I guess I'm handing out dues now. Am I, am I, am I okay to do that? I have no idea. <laughs> Folks, we are here at the Mountain Dew Outdoor booth here at the Bass Master Classic. It's going pretty good. Huge crowd forming this afternoon. I got you. Things are got spicy you. and exciting. Here. I do crack. Now that I got a Mountain Dew stash, let's go interview some people. This is the outdoor center of, of Dew Energy right here. We're, we're watching people right now. They're getting, look at this. This person is getting a Guggen Squad Mountain Dew outdoor gear backpack, complete with two tackle trays and ready for the dangle. Full of outdoor gear, we got coolers, we got sleeping bags, we've got jet skis, we've got ATVs, there's boats, there's all sorts of outdoor gear. So we're gonna walk around a little bit and we're gonna see if some people are feeling like winners today and they wanna win some baits, winning some Guggen baits today. We got some uh, Guggen history trivia questions that we're gonna ask around. It looks like we have some interviewers ready to go. We wanna answer some questions to maybe win some gear from Guggen Squad. Number one, what year did the Guggen Squad form? You ha I'm gonna give you some options, 2015, 2016, 2017, or 2018? 2018. It's actually 2016. Should we give them some free baits anyways? I think so. This is father-son team? Mm -hmm. Okay, translator. This is a father-son translator. Okay, this is a question about John B. 
Let's see what you got here. On what lake did John B. catch his personal best bass? My biggest bass ever. I remember it just like it was yesterday. The date was January 21st. I arrived at the ramp at an early 6.23 a.m. I launched my boat. I went out to a main river channel. I took one cast with my A-Rig. And I vividly remember watching that A-Rig go over the tops of some buck brush. And out of seemingly nowhere, there she was, the fish of my dreams. She looked up at my A-Rig, lunged her great voluptuous body towards my bait, and engulfed all eight of my swim baits that I had on my umbrella rig. Set the hook, I reeled her in, she got both side. I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing. It was her, my biggest bass ever, 14.06. Was it A, Lake Geneva, B, Lake Louisville, C, O-H-I-V, or D, Lake Michigan? Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a clue. It was in Texas. Louisville. Louisville. He said Louisville. I wish it was, but it was O-H-I-V. I think the lake record out of Louisville is like 15 pounds. You are going to receive some base anyways. Okay. Wow. This, ooh. How we doing? How we doing? Question number six here today, sir. What branch of the military did Rob and Lojo serve? I'm gonna give you some options. Of course, you probably already know the options. Was it Coast Guard, Navy, Army, or Marines? I think he was in the Army. That is correct. That is correct. We have some vets in the squad. You have won some, some baits, some nuclear punches, some nuke punches, and some possibly some bandito bugs. They're on their way. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to add to the story? <laughs> Our story? No. That's Our crazy. story here together today at the Bassmaster Classic. I'm just here with my son Caleb all the way from New Hampshire. We had a heck of a drive and we've had a blast so far. So. New Hampshire. Yeah. Uh, you are the farthest drive I've heard of here today. You guys should win a prize at least for that. Okay. What flavor is Mountain Dew Code Red? Cherry. Had a little assistance there, but we'll give it to him. It is cherry. Uh, do you like to Texas rig or flip or any of that? All of it, every All bit of it, you bet. Okay, we're gonna get you some nuke punches All right, so you, you can go do some of that. Awesome, thank you. You bet. How, how how far back, you know I've been doing YouTube for like 10 years. Long time. Okay, where are you from? Houston. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Okay, I'm, here's, here we go. Where did Lake Fort Guy fish in college? I'm gonna give you some options. Was it? A&M, wasn't it? It. A M. This man didn't even need the options. He's got it. He's got it. Let's let's hook him up with some baits. Yeah, of course. All right. Is that an Aggie ring over there that I see? SFA. Okay. SFA. All right. Which is the best-selling Guggen Squad soft plastic bait? Is it the Lunker Log, Bandito Bug, Trench Hog, or Dragon Drop? I'm gonna go with Lunker Log. That is the second time I've heard that. It's actually the but Bandito I, 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 Bug. I, I, that was my second choice. It's I the Bandito Bug. Let's give you one more question because I know you've been watching Guggen Squad for a while. Right. Who are the original members of the Guggen Squad? Uh, you got Peric, John B, you got Rob, and I want to assume you were there, but I think you came in a little bit later. Uh, Who else is in there? Flair. Yep. I think you got them all. You got them all. Yeah. Mike, John, Rob, Flair, and Alex Perrick. I came in later. Good job. You know your history of the squad, sir. Get this man some nuke punches. Come on in. Dude. How we doing? Dude, I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good today? Yes, sir. All right. Where are y'all from? Muskogee, Oklahoma. Muskogee. Yes, sir. Oh, what's that song? I'm proud to be an Okie from Muskogee. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. What year did the Guggen Squad form? Was it 2015, 2016, 2017? or 2018. 16. This man got it right off the bat. Get him some nuke punches and some love grubs. Wow, that's incredible. That's the fastest answer we've had all day. Yes, sir. <laughs> he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. Love to see it. You know your history. Here you go. Have Thank you fished you these much. before, the nuke yes, punches? Sir. Okay. Yes, sir, yeah, all right. Yes, you do, do a lot of flipping? Oh, a little bit, occasionally, yeah. Okay. What's your favorite jig trailer? Probably Crack and Crawl. Crack and Crawl. <laughs> This guy's styled. Do you know anything about Guggen Squad? Yes, I do. Uh, who, who is this fella behind you here? Uh, oh, that's my grandpa. Okay. Yeah. I like your grandpa's character. Which Guggen Squad member has the best mustache? Mm. 
Gotta go John B. That is correct. I'm gonna give you another question here. Where is the birthplace of Mountain Dew? What state is it? Oklahoma, Tennessee, Florida, or New York? Tennessee. He is correct. The dew's fresh off the mountains of Tennessee. All right, what lake did John B. catch his personal best? Was it... Okay, I'm gonna give you some options. Lake Geneva, Lake Louisville, OHIV or Lake Michigan? I'm gonna go with OHIV. You are correct. Do you remember how big the bass was? Was it like 11 pounds maybe? It was over that. 13? I think it was like 14 pounds. This man has caught a share lunker. I, I netted a 12 for him. Dang, that's, that's incredible. He's amazing. Great mustache, great great angler. Do you, uh, do you like to do any Texas rigging, flipping? Oh yeah, big, big flipper. I'm from the south, so I like to flip. Shallow power fish. Uh, okay. More my style. Yep. All right. What's uh What's your favorite color to flip with? Uh, I have to say probably June bug. Honestly. June bug. All right. Dark colors. Dark, black, dirty black, water. Absolutely. Muddy water. So yeah. Dark colors. Yep. Okay. This man knows his stuff. How's it going, brother? How's your mustache doing today? Hey, listen. Uh, uh, midday report. The sun is high. Uh, 32 and balmy this morning has changed to a 77 and sweaty armpit here in the beautiful city of. Tulsa, Oklahoma. We've met some beautiful, wonderful people, some amazing anglers, anglers that are much better than myself, Rackley, and of course, Rob Turkla. Of course. I didn't mean it like that, Rob. Uh, you're a great angler. Uh, Rackley, how was your uh, how was your interviews? How did they go? The interviews have been going fantastic, actually. We've heard a lot about your mustache out there, very Ron Burgundy-esque. I like the way you're just rocking the mic. Uh, let's check in with your partner in crime over here. Where do I look my hands? I don't know. <laughs> I've, been, uh, I've been bartender over here, essentially. I've been giving everybody dues. Well, there you have it. I'm John Barzacchini. Stay classy, Tulsa. Hello, sir. Do you know anything about Mountain Dew? I love Mountain Dew. You love Mountain Dew? I got some trivia questions for you. I've got a pretty good one for you here. Can you name five Mountain Dew flavors? There's the regular original Mountain Dew. There's Code Red. There's um, Baja Blast. Oh, yeah. Um, there's the Mountain Dew Zero. Okay, yes, yes. And then, um, oh gosh, it's the blueberry one. I just had some. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. This man knows his Mountain Dew, and he's going to win some baits from the Googan Squad. Impressive. I love it. So it's actually been a while since we've came and hung out with you guys at a meetup. It's really good to be doing this with Mountain Dew. Partnering with him has been absolutely phenomenal. They're great people to work with behind the scenes. Uh -huh. All you got to do is buy Dew, collect points, and get some awesome gear. It's that easy, guys. Jet skis, side-by-sides. Uh, apparel and of course some Guggen baits. Depending on how much do you purchase and drink, the better chance you have of getting the do goods. Just want to give Mountain Dew a huge shout out. These folks actually decided they wanted to work with us and they're great people like Rob said behind the scenes. And if you're interested in uh, checking out some more information, go to dooutdoors.com. Well folks, you saw us at the Classic. It was, uh, it was awesome. It was good to meet all you guys at the Mountain Dew outdoor booth, but we figured we would finish off today's video. We've come all the way back to Texas. We didn't want to leave you all hanging. Figured we'd add a bit of bass fishing to today's video. How far are we from Tulsa right now? Oh. Nine far. And a half hours. Nine and a half hours. But it's going to be worth it. We're going to catch some fish today. Maybe show you a bass or two. Some, one of us might fall in the water. I don't know. I paid, I'll, honestly, I'll tribute to fall in the water. I mean, I will, I'll probably do it on accident, but it'll probably be me. Oh, there she is. There he is. Oh, yeah. You know what it was? What? The gosh dang dart, boys. The dart. The dart does the job. Really nice one. Yeah, we were trying to get that one. Good nice. lord above, look at this thing. Oh, you just bring the old dart through there. Doink, 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 doink. Here, let me, you want to put them back? <laughs> this thing right here. This is pretty much what I do. I don't think a lot of people do this because I don't know if it's smart or not, but I use a 5 aught EWG. That's what I use, personally. That's good. Weightless. Doink, 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 doink. There he is. Oh, yeah, dude. High five. Mm. Nice. Got yeah. Skin on. Oh, my God. We're tight. tight. We're tight, baby. Tight. Woo! You got this, buddy. 
Hey! Here's the old log grabber. Ooh, we should have fished the classic. We are pros. Yeah, right? Just your run in the mill bank cruiser, one and three quarter pounder. See you, guy. There she is, there she is, there she is. Fucking dude. Fucking dude. Okay. He's back. I'm back, boys. I'm back, boys. John's back in the classic crack his toes. Typical Guggen fashion. Squad hook up. Just out here hooking dinkies. That's official. Everyone in the boat has now caught a bass. Even myself as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Well, mission complete. It counts. Mission complete. Got a tug. All the boys got the tug today. I shall see you later, little stinky. Farewell, my little friends. Had to pick up Rob's dart rod. He um, really sold me hard on that. He's like, no. On. No. Yes, sir. That was almost a double. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What do we have here? What is happening? I haven't even seen this fish yet. Uh oh. Oh, oh! it's a begging. It's a bagging. It's a bagging. Light line, I gotta play him out. Whoa. Dude, these fish are pulling so hard. Oh, My voice just cracked. They're pulling so hard. They're pulling so hard. They're pulling so hard. And there it is. Yeah, that's not a bad one. That's a chunky one. <laughs> Look at that chunk. Yes, sir. Spring is in the air. And bass, oh, they're in my nose, as always. Oh, that was such a good swim. And that is gonna do it for today's video, y'all. Don't forget, buy do, collect points, get gear. And let us know in the comments what kind of adventures do you wanna see us go on? You wanna see us go to, uh, well, just let us know. Let us know, we're open-minded and we wanna we want to adventure into the wild and bring you, bring you along with us. So, we will see you on another Guggen Squad episode soon. Peace.